Hey y'all, Coach in the fight here. Got Shadow Man with me. Um, this is the first day of summer, and I believe I upset Shadow Man. Uh, for those of you who are new to the channel, you know, not familiar with Shadow Man, these are videos taken with this phone because we're low power. Here at the Hillbilly Homestead, we're on solar power. And we don't have that many solar panels. We do thank one of you guys for a solar panel that you um, had sent here from Amazon. Yeah, it that was the first time anybody ever did that. And we got the solar panel. We're planning on doing something special with it. Um, we'll, you know, we'll give the Lord praise and we'll um, share that with you when it comes to fruition. But right now, we're talking about the calendar. First of all, we want to say happy um, first day of summer. Happy summertime. Happy summertime. Um, this is um, um, the first day of summer. And in today's class, we're going to be talking about the calendar. Now, the thing about this calendar is it has all of our father's information about the calendar coming from the book of Enoch and even what we observe through empirical evidence all in one page. I'm going to show you what I mean. All right, first, I'm going to bring up the sun. Because the, the father says the first law of the luminaries is the sun. So here is the sun on the calendar now. If you zoom down in on it, this is what you're looking at. This is called the, um, and I want to spell it and say, I want to say it correctly, Ano, like A-N-A-L, Emma. And sometimes I think Enema, <laughs> that's how I remind myself, but... Ain't no M no. And, but don't say that or you'll mess up like I just did. But anyway, so you have it. There it is. That's the sun, the pattern of the sun. The thing about it, the moon takes a similar pattern. We'll show the moon pattern. and the, But the sun's pattern stays this way. It stays the same. This one is actually the sun. When when you see it on our calendar, it's look you're looking at a sundial. Because we're actually looking at the sun, the shadow. We don't look at the sun. We look at the shadow. That's the difference between us and the world. That's the pagan world. Is the pagan world is actually looking at the sun. They, I mean, they're looking up. And, you know what I'm saying? We are in the same sun with them. We're standing there in the sun right beside them. A lot of the times, we could even have our arms around them as we hug them or whatever. But we're not looking at the sun. We're looking at the shadows. So ours is flipped and backwards. You gotta, you gotta, you know, flip it, you know, twice to get the shadow. Okay, now this is a little bit off topic, but let's talk about this particular element of the Father's timepiece. And this is the moon right here. It's 29.5334. Five something another. I, I, I better check again. Um, days. That's how long the month is. Twenty nine point five three days. Okay. That what that means is sometimes you're always going to land on the twenty nine. You always that's a Sabbath day. That twenty nine right there. I got that. I, I needs to be in blue. So and I believe we did do that on the, the latest revision. These these are some old pictures. Old M O um, revisions. But sometimes you had an extra 5.5 days there. But you can understand that. You have Sometimes you have a day, sometimes you don't. And this is the first day of summer, and we actually did. We had this extra day. And so today is the day. Let me get out this road here. thing about Shadow Man, this is the only place in the, in the, in the world... Well, not, even, not the world. This is the only place on my property. This is the only place where I live that I can actually shoot Shadow Man. I can't shoot Shadow Man nowhere on my property. 
I actually have to come to the to the road and shoot Shadow Man. You call me. Hmm. Did you think about me? Oh, okay. I thought I heard something. That's what I heard there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can do the video. That's all right. We're talking about the calendar. Oriana asked about the calendar. She's the first person that I've gotten a comment from in from anybody. I'm talking about on, on Facebook. Oh, she did? No. Nah. Well, I ain't got the comment right in front of me, but I believe she said, uh, "What is this calendar? How did, what does this calendar mean? What does it mean? Okay. What's the meaning of it?" Uh, Something like that. I'll continue your class. You want to say anything? You know about her in the calendar? You want to say? Oh, you want to say hi to her? Say hi to her. Yeah, we wasn't gonna, we was gonna do something totally different. We're doing something absolutely different. Um, based on that comment. Uh, I just say hi and we love y'all. We're praying for y'all and we uh, hope to see you guys when you get here. Happy Remembrance Day. Welcome to summer, everybody. Alright, so let's come in here and let's see if we can explain how this calendar works using this Oriana revision did on July the 12th, 2021, which is the day of remembrance. This is the first day of the fourth month. And the unique thing about this revision is that all of the elements of the timepiece are adjusted in a way to where they line up under the one arrow on this calendar for instance starting from the outside we'll work our way in and then work our way back out with an explanation you have the matonic cycle here around the edges these 19 different years or the pattern that the sun and the moon takes this is their cycle if you have a full moon or a solar eclipse or a something going on in 2017 uh, um, you can follow this Matamna cycle 19 years later and the same thing will be going on but anyway the next thing on the list is the Jubilee years these are seven times seven years that make up the Jubilee cycle and then inside of it is the sabbatical years so what you're seeing here is that we're in the 15th period of the Matonic cycle or the 15th year of that 19 year cycle and we are in the fifth sabbatical year so we have two more years before we actually get to the sabbatical year we're in year five and the sabbatical year is in year seven and we have some verses over here we may need to add some more in the next revision to give you guidance to the scripture that supports what I'm saying here but the next thing on the calendar you see the arrow pointing to is the month Tammuz that's the fourth month it's hitting it right at the beginning of the fourth month this is the first day of that month I had to do some adjustments you know with the lettering here because I didn't want you know things to be on top of one another I wanted you to actually see the word Tammuz so I had to you know adjust things around a little bit and you see the arrow also pointing to July the 12th. Right? And you got then you got the moon who so this arrow, the reason why it's so thick is because it's showing you the day, the week, the month, the year, and the quarter. And that's what this video is about is the quarter. This is the first day of summer. You see how this is uh, broken up into four parts here well the unique thing about today is this is when we actually start summer 
start the summer season. And that is what we're remembering here. So we're remembering the day of summer. Just making a few changes here, guys. And the link, when I post a link to Google Drive, the place where you should be able to download these calendar, you should find it complete, this revision will be over. Um, after 7 12 we're no longer going to work on a day of remembrance calendar we'll, we'll work on something else so we'll post that one up so explaining how the calendar works let's see if we can do this real quick all right the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to a program called shadows and i'll give you a link to that in the description it's a um like a shareware program freeware program i'm not sure what all that it all means what that's going to give us is the gates these are the gates that we hear about in Enoch. You have six of them. There's the first one right there. That small one is the first gate. Then you have the second gate and the third gate, which is one of the two great gates. You see the fourth is a great gate too. Those are the big gates. Then you have the fifth gate here. Then you have the sixth gate here. So you see the same gates here in the middle of this calendar and then you also see the sun pattern going around it that's what they call the adenema let's see that's why I gotta pronounce it, I got to pronounce it wrong that time but that is the sun's path through these gates you see the dates on here those Gregorian dates are the dates that the sun enters a particular gate it enters a gate on July the 19th. It enters, um, that will be when it enters the fifth gate. It'll enter the fourth gate on August the 18th. It'll enter the uh, third gate on September the 18th. It'll enter the second gate on October the 18th. Then you go to the first gate on November the 19th. And then the thing that December's out here is because it stays in the first gate two times. It's still in this path. It's still in this gate up here. This is the uh, shadow of the sun or the sun depends on, you know, which way you're actually looking at this analemma. And then outside of these Gregorian months, you see the names of the Hebrew months. Now, the first month on the Hebrew calendar is Nisan or some call it Abib. All of these months have different names like the month Nisan has the name Abib and Nisan and all of them have two or three names that they go by but this is the first month so so far we're seeing the pattern of the Sun that it makes through the gates now the gates represents the star if we were looking at a clock here the Sun would represent the hour hand and these gates here would represent the numbers on the clock wherever the hour hand was pointing to which numbers how you knew what time it is well that's the same way with the sacred calendar wherever the Sun is along this path in this gate you know which month or which quarter you're in so the gates represent the stars the alalema represents the sun and the moon because it's on a similar kind of path or dance that it makes in the celestial it changes opposed to the sun's alalema which stays the same as far as we're concerned the sun's the moon's alanema changes as we see in the image that I'll show you. But when they both converge in the same gate is when we get a new month. Just like we see here. When even though they're both making this cycle through heaven, when they line up is when we call what is what we call the new moon. And that is when we get a new month, a new sacred month. So the way this calendar is working 
is is showing you the Gregorian months, which starts the solar month, and then it also has the Hebrew months, which starts the lunar month, all on this one calendar. And you just have to know um, where the sun is in that particular at that particular time to know what day it is, the sun and the moon. You know where the sun is, and then when you get the new moon, it tells you when the month actually starts. So this arrow that you see here is pointing you to the Gregorian day, the lunar day, but then it's also pointing to the sabbatical year. Now in the scripture, I'll show you the verses that says that we're supposed to work six years. Our land, talking about tilling and planting for six years before we allow the land to rest. So we're actually in the fifth year. And like we said, we have the scriptures over there to support that. We're in the fifth year. And you guys, please check this. If you want to, you can. Have, we, we have videos to show how we actually calculated that we are in the fifth year um, here in uh, July the 12th, 2021. So the calendar is showing you that. And the final version will show you the Jubilee years in the image that you're looking at on the screen here. I don't actually have it in there yet, but I'm going to use some of these spaces between here to show the uh, Jubilee year. I couldn't show the um, day of the week using the same seven because of the new moon is inserted in there. But we'll talk about that later on. So that brings us to the last thing on it. That's the Alanema. Now, let me show you this. I'm running low on battery power here. Alright, so there's the latest version of the monthly pattern that we were talking about earlier. Um, as far as now, I'm, a, I'm, I'm going to still change some stuff on it. But this is what I bring you over here to show you, is this 19 year metonic cycle. This right here shows you the relationship between the sun and the moon for each of the new moons for the entire 19 years of what they call the metonic cycle and I have to put you a definition of the metonic cycle there um, basically saying that this the cycle of the moon the sun and the stars all repeat themselves every 19 years well what this is showing you over there on the moon data chart is this actually showing you the beginning of spring the first day of the first month for each year of the metonic cycle. Now, notice that this says 0% moon here. It doesn't really say new moon because the new moon has to be verified with the eyeballs. I mean, well, it has to be seen. It has to be able to be seen. It may be behind the, may be behind the clouds, but it's still there for, you know, it's still there. It's not a 0% moon. A 0% moon can't be seen. Zero, you can't see zero. And so, that's what this chart is showing now I thought about doing the math and you know actually um, calculating when the new moon would be but I th it would it would lead to errors there would definitely be some calculation errors in there there would be days like um, yesterday when people thought that we would have a new moon and a new moon didn't actually show up so you know there would be some errors here is just showing the mathematical calculation for the zero percent moon and so when you look in these pink months, um, it's actually showing you the four months of remembrance, the four days of remembrance, the feast of the new moons fall in these pink patterns here, these pink colored um, highlighted um, um, cells there. Now, but notice spring here, Nisan here. And notice these dates here, 411, 401, 321, 408, 329. These are the spring dates when we have the first day of the new moon. This is actually the first new moon after the spring equinox. That's the beginning of the sacred year. Now, now, now that's important. Um, you know, that, that would be a test question. The first new moon after the spring equinox is the head of the year. And so that's where you see this right here. Let me jump back over there. And so that's why you, what you see these numbers going around this chart here. 
there you see 411 and there you see 401 and then 321 and then 40 looks like 6 but it keeps going around and so where we what this arrow is showing is where we where we are on that metonic cycle but like we said we have some verses over here you could go read those verses I'll give you links to you know some of this stuff down in the description but the other thing that we need to talk about is this 5994 AM up here this is actually the year since the creation of Adam but I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out if we have any more questions or anything let's continue the discussion down in the comment section this is the official video of this particular calendar so any questions or anything like we'll, re we'll refer back to this um, calendar and then you know we'll try to do it again probably for the winter time day of remembrance because the next day of remembrance which is autumn is the memorial blowing of trumpets so nobody's going to forget that one but the winter time will hopefully have this calendar revised a little better, a little maybe more information, more clear and concise and understandable um, presentation that we'll have by the time we do the winter time um, revision. But before sunset today, if you see anything that you could offer up to um, make it better, any ideas or anything about sunset today we'll actually add it to this and that's when the final revision will come out that's when I'll post the one for download after sunset today maybe late maybe by the end of sunset tomorrow um, I'll actually have it posted up but we're not gonna work on it it's just a matter of you know getting the file getting the links all in the proper places and, and stuff but all right, with that, I'm going to close this out. Shalom. Love you.